Find all voltages and currents in this circuit. I recently posted short overviews on Kirchhoff's voltage law and current law, and today we're going to apply them both. So, we'll start by using Ohm's law. The voltage across each resistor is its resistance times the current through it. So, V1 is 2I1, V2 is 8I2, and V3 is 4I3. The next step is to apply KCL, Kirchhoff's current law. We see that the current I1 splits into two chunks, I2 and I3. So, I1 must be equal to the sum of I2 and I3 by KCL. Finally, we'll apply KVL. We'll draw a clockwise loop like this, and this gives us negative 10 plus V1 plus V2 equals 0. Remember from my KVL overview, if we enter the negative terminal first, then the voltage will be negative, and if we enter the positive terminal first, we keep the voltage positive in the equation. But we also have this second loop to apply KVL on. This gives us negative V2 plus V3 minus 6 equals 0. Let's take the negative 10 to the other side in this first equation. And we can also do the same thing for the second one. We'll take the negative 6 to the other side. And now we'll use the Ohm's law equations to express the three voltages in terms of their currents. V1 is 2I1, V2 is 8I2, and V3 is 4I3. So, KCL and KVL, coupled with Ohm's law, give us a system of three equations with three unknowns. Let's perhaps take I2 and I3 to the other side so that it has the typical form of a linear system, and now we can solve it using substitution, elimination, or any other linear algebra method. We get I1 equals 3, I2 equals 0.5, and I3 equals 2.5 amperes. With this, we can replace the three currents, so V1 will be 2 times 3, which is 6. V2 is 8 times 0 0.5, which is 4. And V3 is 4 times 2.5, which is 10 volts. We have successfully found all voltages and all currents in the circuit we started with.